I'm going to show you how to set up a keyboard shortcut in IntelliJ to launch the Corona simulator. I just hit my keyboard shortcut there. And then if your uh, simulator is already running and you hit the keyboard shortcut again, it's just going to refocus and refresh it so that you can, you know, make a couple changes, hit your keyboard shortcut, and then refocus to Corona. Basically what you're going to do is in your settings, uh, there's something called external tools and you'll define a new external tool. Uh, the process will be clicking add, uh, edit tool and filling out this form here. Uh, what I'm going to do is just show you what I already have set up so I can save on some typing. So I'll have this as a screenshot you can look at later. Um, just going to name it simulator and it put it in a Corona group which you can see right there. Uh, just describe it. Um, uncheck open console because you don't really need to, it doesn't, it's not going to give you any output. And then the program you want to run on Windows is going to be WScript and um, I guess on Mac OS it might be Terminal um, and there's an Apple script you can run. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how that's set up. Hopefully um, someone can post in the comments how you can do this on, uh, launch this using Apple script and I'll give a link to the Apple script I know works. Um, and so with WScript, you're going to pass in a Visual Basic script, and I'll provide you the source for this because actually Java has no way of refocusing Windows. It can launch an application, but it cannot refocus an application that's already launched to refresh it. Um, so that's why you have to do an OS level type script. So this VBS is a Visual Basic script, and then you're going to pass in something called a macro um, source path. If you look at it in here, is the project source path. So this is the source source path to my project and then the main Lua file. So once you have that set up as an external tool, um, you can simply go to your key map and under external tools, select your Corona simulator and add a keyboard shortcut to it. I just picked control watch with Devin, seven. So once you have that set up, um, all you do is hit control alt seven and it'll launch it and then hit start and control at seven again will refocus and refresh. Uh, basically to explain the script a little bit, um, it's going to look through the currently running processes and check each of them. If one of them is Corona Simulator, then it's gonna say that it's found. If it is found, then it's gonna say activate this. And if that's not the path you install it to, you'll actually have to edit this script yourself. Um, wait for, you know, 100 milliseconds, hit the escape key, because this actually, uh, something you'll see here, and the reason I'm explaining this is because you always got to be super careful running these you know, visual basic scripts, you know, never know what they're going to do. Um, you'll see that this actually launches two windows, this one and this one. The main problem I ran into this is that since this is a command window, it keeps on stealing keyboard focus and locks it down even if you tried to reactivate this. So I had to focus this window, send an escape key, and then focus this window and hit refresh. Um, so looking at that again, uh, focus that terminal or the command prompt type window, uh, wait for 100 milliseconds, hit the escape key, wait, focus back to the actual simulator, wait for 200 milliseconds. You have to wait a little bit longer on this to get the refresh to work and it, maybe if your computer is a bit slower that may have to wait a little bit longer and then send control R for refresh. Um, if it's not running then you're just going to say run this and you actually need to do triple quotes here uh, just the way that strings work in Visual Basic scripts with spaces and then you can do and and this is going to be the parameter that's passed in. So uh, this parameter is simply um, in your tools here, the parameter right here. So it's going to pass in the actual path to your main Lua file and then launch it. Uh, so that's the, the basic idea of setting up an external tool. Uh, I'll have the screenshot, the Visual Basic script, a link to the, um, the Apple script that I know that works with TextMate. So you should be able to launch the same thing using TextMate, um, using that Apple script and just, you know, setting up an external tool the exact same way. Um, and hopefully this will work for everyone out there.